My name is Keith Reddy. Uh, I'm originally from the United States. Uh, I immigrated here a couple years ago from um, uh, to London um, uh, to marry my wife, Kira. Uh, my background is in philosophy and religious studies. Uh, and back in April, uh, my wife and I were on a, um, a road trip through Scotland and the Leskin house was on the market and we had been, had some interest in the uh, property uh, for some time and saw it as a once in a lifetime opportunity. Um, we have some uh, experience, uh, several years of experience in London doing um, property development. Um, so um, we've never taken on quite a project this size before. Uh, so it's definitely a challenge that we were um, up to taking on. The only thing I really knew about it was that it was the infamous home of uh, Aleister Crowley at one point and also uh, Jimmy Page having bought it in the 70s um, because of his interest in, in Crowley and Crowleyana. Uh, but since then, um, I've done a lot of research with uh, the history of the house and there's actually some new stuff coming up that um, we've not been able to quite verify yet. Uh, but I do believe that um, there's going to be more um, history prior to Crowley's uh, involvement uh, with Boleskine that's going to be of interest, particularly Scottish uh, history with the uh, history of the Fraser family. The house has gone through a number of um, uh, redevelopments over its history. It, was, it never had these wings beforehand. It was just the uh, lock facing structure and it's made of a granite construction. Uh, and we have some suspicion that uh, due to its uh, elevated position off of the lock, that it could very well have served as um, possibly an early um, military building um, overlooking the lock uh, at some point, possibly during um, the Coladin era. Of course, the most interesting and intriguing eccentric history is uh, Crowley's uh, ownership. Um, he bought it in 1899 uh, and uh, it was sold from him, I think, uh, around 1913. Um, and of course, his involvement with it was uh, he was looking for a uh, secluded part uh, of the country. Um, with a house that fit the dis parameters that he was looking for uh, in order to carry out a very intensive um, uh, magical operation known as the Abramelin working. And um, that, uh, I think, is what captivates most people. When we first thought about um, offering on uh, Boleskine House, we thought to ourselves, um, Basically, we had never been up here before. And we stopped by, we walked up on the land, and we were just captivated by the surroundings here. Not just the house itself and the mystique, but um, the land had a certain pull to it. And all we could think of was, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, let's just offer on it. And we weren't really thinking about what we were doing at that, at that time. At first we thought, well, Will we live in it? Maybe. I don't know. But as, as we started understanding the implications of our decision to purchase this, we realized that um, this could definitely be a move to benefit um, a, a greater community. And there's so much um, popularity with the house that I believe uh, it will attract visitors from all over the world myself and my wife uh, formed the majority percentage of the funds right now. We have started to GoFundMe and PayPal, and we've been able to register those as um, a charity now that we're a registered charity, which uh, takes the fees down, of course. Um, so that's made up about, I don't know, 5% so far of what we've been able to raise. Um, we've also uh, start, started an initiative, um, a membership program, uh, 
we call the Friends of Beleskin, which gives a two-tiered um, uh, availability for membership uh, to help us raise funds. And what we're going to be doing with the membership program is people that sign up will be able to uh, come and visit um, as often as they'd like to. I would like people to come to be able to visit, walk around in, in the gardens once we have them um, uh, you know, ready to be traveled to. Uh, the house, once it's restored, will be open to uh, the public several times a week for visitation. We'll have a library. Maybe people can peruse the library on Scottish history or Western esotericism or um, any of those sorts of uh, subjects. Sit down in the reading room and, and open open it up with, with a coffee. Uh, we also want to um, open up the coach house as a event space uh, to host lectures or galleries or even um, yoga Tai Chi classes um, to kind of promote um, health and mindfulness and well-being. So that's um, essentially what we've come up with so far. Uh, and that's already quite a bit to try to organize. Um, but um, long story short, we want Boleskine to be able to be experienced by um, anyone who has interest in it, you know.